Since J.J. Abrams' 2009 reboot of the Star Trek series, the three movies set in the new Kelvin timeline have been smashing successes. However, just as everything seemed to be falling into place, Star Trek IV's director Matt Shackman decided to leave the project, leaving it in darkness. There are many reasons why Star Trek IV should be released in 2023, and one of those reasons is that it must, at last, emerge from the depths of development of hell. You really want to head back out there, huh? J.J. Abrams successfully revived the Star Trek film series in 2009, helming the first two installments and producing the Justin Lin-directed Star Trek Beyond in 2016. However, since then, numerous takes by various filmmakers have been dropped and Star Trek IV has completely been stalled. On Paramount+, Plus, Star Trek is currently in its golden age. All five of the new Star Trek shows, including the immensely well-liked Star Trek Strange New Worlds, have found fans in critical acclaim and are available year-round on the service. But in the years since Star Trek Beyond relatively underperformed compared to the first two movies, several directors have tried their hand at Star Trek IV without much success, including Quentin Tarantino, Noah Hawley, S.J. Clarkson, and Matt Shackman. The chances of a new Star Trek film remain slim, but this must change because Star Trek IV has the potential to bring the film series back to its former glory. Though Paramount still creates quality Star Trek content like Picard and Strange New Worlds, it doesn't seem likely that we'll see that big blockbuster movie anytime soon. Therefore, anticipating a film in the future is not questionable. The stars are still up for a trip back to the final frontier in Star Trek IV, one of the Paramount's most important and underappreciated films. Even though everything seems hopeless, there must be a way to make this movie somewhere in the vastness of Hollywood. Fans and celebrities continue to speculate, but Star Trek IV is currently dead. Shackman declared that the Fantastic Four chance was too hard to pass up in February 2023. He continued by saying that he thought Paramount was still working on the same film that he was creating. As far as we know, Star Trek IV is still in production, but there hasn't been any news since February 2023. Let's hope Shackman is correct and the movie still has a chance of appearing on our screens at some point. But in the meantime, here's everything you need to know about the USS Enterprise's possible return in Star Trek IV. You got that little vein popping out of your temple again, you okay? Look better! Just another day in the fleet. Star Trek IV has been in development for a very long time, a very long time. For context, when Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto signed on for Star Trek IV in June 2015, Barack Obama was still president, the MCU's Phase 3 wasn't yet underway, and Star Wars The Force Awakens wasn't ever in theaters and on track to become the highest grossing film of the year. After all this time, Star Trek IV has yet to materialize. Pine and Chris Hemsworth allegedly abandoned a potential fourth project due to pay issues in 2018 and in 2019 it was revealed that the movie had been shelved. The project eventually picked up steam again and was given a release date of June 9, 2023, but that was later pushed back to December 22, 2023 before disappearing entirely from the release schedule. Or to put it another way, we don't know when Star Trek IV will be released, but there is a reason to believe that it's still being worked on. So smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Millions of souls from every Federation world hold in hands. Getting as much of the original cast back on board was the original goal for the film, regardless of how the plot developed. Chris Pine ultimately struck a good deal to reprise his role as Captain James T. Kirk, even though negotiations with Chris Hemsworth and his part in the movie fell through. John Cho would reprise his role as Sulu and Zachary Quinto had already been cast as Spock. Although Simon Pegg, who acted in and contributed to the writing of Star Trek Beyond made no promises, he would likely return given his significant involvement with the movies. The fact that Zoe Saldana has worked in so many franchise movies has caused her to express some frustration, but she would come back if the film managed to come together. Of course, the role of Chekhov was rewritten rather than recast as a result of Anton Yelchin's untimely passing. Mr. Chekhov, can you reconfigure the search parameters in order to compensate for this formula? Hmm, I commend her, but... Many unanswered questions could be resolved in Star Trek IV if it ever makes it to the big screen. There was a lot of discussion about possible story arcs when authors first sat down at their laptops. Even Quentin Tarantino and J.J. Abrams discussed writing a Star Trek movie together. Yes, those rumors were true, but they also coincided with Paramount's plans to continue Abrams' Kelvin timeline. The Kelvin timeline of J.J. Abrams' Star Trek films gave his creative team permission to reimagine recognizable aliens and ideas. Abrams redesigned the Klingons for Star Trek Into Darkness, but they only made an appearance for a brief period, leading to a violent action scene. Abrams' perspective on the Klingons hasn't really been explored, but Star Trek IV might make up for that missed opportunity. After Star Trek Discovery Season 2, the Klingon warrior race was largely absent from the current Star Trek TV series. 
Star Trek IV may give the Klingons a renewed focus, even though war with the Klingon Empire was likely to occur. J.J. Abrams largely avoided featuring the Klingons in his Star Trek films. In Star Trek Into Darkness, Khan Noonien Singh was hired by Admiral Alexander Marcus to get Starfleet ready for battle. Given that the Federation Klingon War was given a swerve in the Star Trek Discovery when the USS Discovery entered the Mirror Universe and missed out on a significant portion of the conflict, a Klingon War movie may be the ideal fit for Star Trek IV. Needless to say, the position of Vice Admiral is yours. No one deserves it more. The most popular new female character in a Star Trek film, Jayla, was laudably introduced in Star Trek Beyond. The feisty alien of an unidentified species joined Captain Kirk and his team in their struggle against Krall and his throng. In fact, without Jayla's assistance, Kirk's crew would not have been able to leave the planet Ultimate on the USS Franklin or save the incredible starbase Yorktown. Star Trek IV must continue Jayla's story since she was admitted to Starfleet Academy after Star Trek Beyond and her character is slated to take Pavel Chekhov's and the late Anton Yelchin's places on the Enterprise. It was expected that there would be a sequel to Star Trek Beyond when it was released in 2016. Between Star Trek and Star Trek Into Darkness, there was a four-year break and between Beyond and its release, there was a three-year break. Due to the lengthy production process, Star Trek IV is currently scheduled for release in late 2023, but this could change significantly if there are any scheduling conflicts or additional pre-production delays. This implies that there will be a minimum time gap of roughly seven years between Beyond and Star Trek IV, which may affect how well the sequel can carry on the plot. Star Trek IV could, however, get around any potential problems brought on by the sequel's delays by skipping ahead by about 10 years in the timeline. The cast will likely appear to be getting older, but a time jump would take care of that and offer a natural explanation for why Anton Yelchin's Chekhov cannot return. Captain, intercepting all three ships is an impossibility. Although Jayla could potentially replace Chekhov in Star Trek IV, it wouldn't make much sense to do so without a time gap between the two stories. This makes a Star Trek time jump the most effective way to deal with the problems brought on by the actual production delays in Star Trek IV and it would also act as a small meta-nod to how long it has taken to start the sequel. The conclusion of Star Trek Beyond raised a few significant questions for the plot of its follow-up. The best way for Star Trek IV to resolve this tease, despite what it may seem like, is to use a time jump between the two movies. Hence, smash that subscribe button and notification bell. Although the specifics of the plot of Star Trek IV are still largely unknown, there are several intriguing directions that the Kelvin timeline could go in following Star Trek Beyond and moving a few years forward in the timeline would allow even more creative freedom. See you in the next video.